Okay, so welcome back. Um, uh, we're going to go ahead and just uh, kind of keep going with what we were originally going to do. Uh, it's always a good idea to review, and as we are all trying to get our bearings and get everybody back on the on the comeback trail, uh, what we'd like to do is just uh, go back into Unit 1 Poetry. Um, so one of the first things that I like to do is just to review TPCast and to review looking at literary devices and seeing how they apply to um, to the author uh, and their theme of their poem. So instead of looking at a poem, I decided that we would just kind of have a little fun and, uh, you know, in order to get back in the swing of things, look at Blake Shelton's song, Maybe She Wouldn't Be Gone. Um, it's got a lot of good um, literary devices and, uh, I mean, it has a ton of, of good stuff in here. So then let's take a look at it. Uh, Maybe She Wouldn't Be Gone by Blake Shelton. It's going to be hard to, to just read this and not sing it. Red Road Sod Wildflower, If I Had Only Picked You... Took you home, set you on the counter. Oh, at least a time or two. Maybe she'd have thought it through. Yellow sunset, slowly dipping down in the rear view. Oh, how she loved to sit and watch you. I could have done that a whole lot more. If I hadn't been so stubborn, been so selfish, thought about her more, thought about me less, joked to make her laugh, held her when she cried, a little more of that, maybe I wouldn't be. Driving like hell, flying like, flying like crazy down the highway, calling everyone we know, stopping any place she might be, Going any place she might go. Beating on the dash, screaming out her name at the windshield, tears soaking up my face. If I'd have loved her this much all along, maybe, maybe, maybe she wouldn't be gone. Um, so what we're looking at here is just right off the bat, looking at the um, the title, maybe she wouldn't be gone. Um, automatically, we're kind of realizing that this is a sad song about the loss of a loved one, a significant other. Um, and he's uh, he's showing regret. Okay, so I mean, I think that what you would look at is maybe you would look at a, a regretful tone as one of the first things that you'd indicate in this uh, song. So the first thing that we want to do is let's just go into the you know the most boring, hard thing that there is, and let's look at rhyme scheme. Okay, so uh, right away <clears throat> we're looking at rhyme scheme, and you know we we determine rhyme scheme by looking at the last word of every sentence, every line, and uh, the very first one is you. So any word that rhymes with you is going to be A, okay? So then we're going to go down here. Counter doesn't rhyme with you, so that's going to be B. Two, that rhymes with you, so that's going to be A. Through rhymes with two and you, so that's A. Rear view, that's A. You, A. More. Does more rhyme with anything? Does it rhyme with you? No. Does it rhyme with counter? No. So that's going to be C. Okay. So the rhyme scheme that we're looking at here is A, B, A, 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 C. Okay. That's our rhyme scheme. So uh, right away, we have A, B, A, 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 C. Okay. So that's our rhyme scheme. How about that? All right. So let's take a look at what else we have here. Um. Okay, before we get into the whole TP cast thing, I want us to look at uh, some of the things that are very important here, okay? Um, first of all, we want to determine his audience. Who is he talking to? We know who he's talking about. We know that he's talking about his girlfriend that he lost because he was stubborn and selfish. But who is he talking to? Well, right away, he determines that. Red roadside wildflower. If I had only picked you, Took you home, set you on the counter. At least a time or two, maybe she'd have thought it through. And then he has a second audience. Yellow sunset, slowly dipping down in the rear view. Oh, how she loved to sit and watch you. I could have done that a whole lot more. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to figure out just, um, you know, let's just look for some, some normal things, okay? We've got red roadside wildflower, okay? So we have alliteration right there. That's pretty cool. We'll go ahead and we'll highlight for alliteration. Red roadside wildflower, if I had only picked you, took you home, set you on the counter, oh, at least a time or two. So we have some more alliteration here. Maybe she'd have thought it through. Yellow sunset, slowly dipping down. I like sunset and slowly. And then dipping down, we have alliteration. In the rear view, oh, how she loved to sit and watch you. I could have done that a whole lot more. So anyway, we've got uh, four uh, pretty obvious pieces of alliteration here, which is pretty cool. Uh, red roadside, time or two, uh, sunset slowly, and then dipping down. And all of that stuff just makes the, the lyrics flow. It's, it's, a, it's a 
it, it makes it nice to listen to. And we always want something nice to listen to. The other the one thing that I want to point out is let's look at pronoun antecedent. Okay, we have the word you. So let's go ahead and highlight that. Uh, took you home. Set you on the counter at least a time or two. Maybe she'd have thought it through. Okay, so here's pronoun right here. Yellow sunset slowly dipping down in the rear view. Oh, how she loved to sit and watch you. He again. You. All right. So we have all of our pronouns highlighted. Okay, so now we have to ask ourselves, well, what do these pronouns mean? Okay, red rose, time wild flower. If I had only picked you, the, the flower. He's talking to the flower. Took you home, set you on the counter. Oh, I missed another you there. But anyway, uh, took you home, set you on the counter. The road, red sidewalk flower, at least a time or two. Maybe she'd have thought it through. Who's she? The girl that he lost. Yellow sunset, slowly dipping down in the rear view. Oh, how she, the girl he lost, loved to sit and watch you, the yellow sunset. I could have done that a whole lot more. So right away, we've discovered that the antecedents here are going to be... The wildflower, lost love, and the sunset. Okay, so right away, we're realizing that there's two audiences here. Um, another thing that's really kind of important to do is, even though it's part of the TV cast uh, process, we want to do some connotations. So let's take a let's uh, not connotation. I'm sorry, paraphrasing. So let's paraphrase the first stanza. Okay. So he's talking to the wallflower, red roadside wallflower. If I had only picked you, took you home, set you on the counter at least a time or two, maybe she'd have thought it through. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to basically say, okay, if we were to take all the poetry out of this and tell somebody literally what he is saying, okay, he's basically saying this. He's saying, if I had done things like picked flowers, and taken them to her, maybe he wouldn't have left me so easily. Okay? That's how it is. If I had done things like picked flowers and taken them to her, those little bitty things that we need in a relationship. Yellow sunset, slowly dipping down in the rear view. Oh, how she loved to sit and watch you. I could have done that a whole lot more. Well, I think we all know that he's saying, maybe if I had sat with her and watched the sunset, she wouldn't have left me so easily. Okay? Um, that's paraphrasing. That's it. Right there. If I had done things like pick flowers and taken them to her, maybe she wouldn't have left me so easily. Maybe if I had sat with her and watched the sunset, she wouldn't have left me so easily. And those are all examples of him not being selfish, which is what he was when he was with her. And then he goes into the second stanza. And we're not going to paraphrase it, but it's because it's pretty clear. If I hadn't been so stubborn, been so selfish, thought about her more, thought about me less, joked to make her laugh, held her when she cried, all of these things... Think about this. Look at all the things that he's talking about. If I hadn't been so stubborn, been so selfish, thought about her more, thought about me less, joked to make her laugh, held her when she cried, a little more of that. He is mentioning all these things that he could have done, a whole list of stuff that indicates how selfish and one-sided he was in this relationship. So let's look at the chorus here. Maybe I wouldn't be driving like hell. Okay, what is like hell? Like hell is a simile. Okay, so we've got simile. Flying like crazy, another simile. Down the highway, calling everyone we know, stopping any place she might be, going any place she might go, beating on the dash, screaming out her name at the windshield. Tears soaking up my face. If I'd have loved her this much all along, maybe, maybe, maybe she wouldn't be gone. I want you to notice this repetition. Okay, right here, repetition, very important. 
does the repetition symbolize? It means that he's really realizing how selfish he was and what he should have been doing. Because the whole thing is wrapped around the concept of maybe. Maybe if I had done this, maybe if I would have done this, maybe if I would have done that, maybe she wouldn't be gone. Maybe she wouldn't have left me so easily. Okay, so anyway, that's how we pretty much break this down. It's very interesting, very cut and dry. Um, I did want to point out some other things in here. Okay, we have um, a lot of parallel structure. Been so stubborn, been so selfish. Okay, look, thought about her more, thought about me less. Okay, notice the juxtaposition, more and less. Okay, because the juxtaposition here shows that at this point he's realizing that in his selfish state, he should have been doing it the, the other way. Instead of thinking about himself more, he should have been thinking about her more and thinking about himself less, okay? So juxtaposition here is used with more and less to bring that through. Joked to make her laugh, okay, just little bitty things. Held her when she cried. Showed compassion, a little more of that, okay? Here's another um, pronoun. Okay, so here's another pronoun. So what is this pronoun? What's the antecedent of this pronoun? All of these things that he should have done. All these things. That's the antecedent. All right. So anyway, this is a poetry analysis. So what you're going to basically do is you're going to now TP cast to this. I'm going to send you a TP cast sheet and uh, you will TP cast to this poem on here. And if you want to use my paraphrase, you're more than welcome to. But in order to challenge yourself, I would suggest that you would do a different um, paraphrase. But I want you to go ahead and start um, answering some of the questions that come along with this, and I'm also going to turn to the TPCast letter. Okay, uh, I really missed you guys, and I'm glad to be back with you. Uh, be checking your Google Classroom on a regular basis. So let me go ahead and put myself up here. All right. So anyway, go ahead and be checking your Google Classroom on a on a regular basis because I'm going to be sending these videos so you can um, keep up with the class. And tomorrow, I'm going to send you another song. And I'm going to have you TP cast it and analyze it yourself. But I'm also going to send you the video because the video has a lot of really good visuals that illustrate the, um, the author's part. Really, really interesting. It's good stuff. Um, I miss you guys. Um, I hope I get to see you again. But if not, then this is going to be the way we're going to communicate. Email me if you have any questions and um, I will talk to you later. Have a good night.